In SolidWorks, you can find physical properties of the parts that you are making using the mass property option. Now these physical properties are volume, density, mass and things like that. Now here I have a two body part. So I've got the cylindrical body and this cuboid and you can actually find out its physical properties using the mass property option which is on this evaluate tab. So go to this evaluate tab and select mass properties. Now if you don't have this evaluate tab right click anywhere and then go to tabs and select evaluate. So anywhere on this command manager right click tabs and evaluate just activate this. Okay we already have this here so I'll click on mass properties and now this mass property option will show up. Now one of the most important things here for this mass property to work is its material. So right now the material is SolidWorks generic material. Now this material has a very random set of properties and these properties cannot be used in a real world application. So these are the physical properties but they are kind of irrelevant apart from the volume and surface area there is hardly anything which makes any sense here. So before we do anything here let's add material on these parts. So I'll cancel this out and here we have an option called material. So this is where you can add material to this entire set of parts. So I'll right click here and I'll select edit material. Now this is the complete list of material that you'll see here. So right now we've got all of these folders which you can expand and see the list of material. I'll go to this SolidWorks material, expand this one and here we have the categories of different materials. Now let's start with maybe steel and I'll expand this one as well and these are all the steel materials that we have. Now I'm going to select this galvanized steel and when you select it its physical material properties will show up right here. Now these properties are read only and you cannot make any modification in this property. This is just a read only property. Now you can change the unit of this material. If you want to see it in a separate unit, just select the unit from here and it will show it in a different unit. But still the value is unchanged. If you want to see how it's going to look, then go to appearance tab and here you can see the appearance of this material. Once again, these things are read only. You cannot modify these properties. Okay, so now I'll go to this properties and here is the galvanized steel which I want to apply on everything in this drawing. So I'll just select galvanized steel, apply and close and immediately you'll see the difference here. So now the texture has changed slightly and that's not just about texture, its actual physical properties have changed as well. Now if you want to check those properties, go to this mass property option and here we have the real properties now. So the density is 0 0.01 grams per cubic millimeter and right now it is showing it correct up to two decimal places but you can add more decimal places but let's for now leave it only up to two decimal places. Now the mass is 2040.13 grams. Here is the volume, surface area, center of mass and all the other properties now with respect to the galvanized steel material which we applied here. Now if you change the material here, obviously these properties, at least mass and density will change. Volume and surface area, they are going to remain intact because it has hardly anything to do with the material. So let's now try some other value. As you can see, the mass is 2040. So just make a note of this. Now I'll go to this galvanized steel, right click, edit material. And this time I'll just select wood. And expand this and here maybe let's apply oak apply and close once again appearance is different let's check the mass properties and now the weight is just 145 grams instead of 2040 grams so it's different and it's way lighter than the previous one so that's how these material properties will change when you apply any material on this part okay now currently the properties are applied on every single body. So this drawing is made with two bodies. So we've got solid body first, which is the cylindrical extrusion and solid body two, which is this one. Now, if you want to apply different materials on different bodies, then you can do so very easily, simply by right clicking here. So you can select a body, 
then right click and select material and edit material now this will only change the material of your selected body so in this case I'll just go to plastics and let's use well how about we use ABS for this one so let's use ABS and apply and close of course the appearance will change and not only that not only appearance has changed but also its physical properties now let's check the physical properties of this so I'll go to mass property and here is a problem in this mass property currently it is showing the property of all the bodies so it is showing the property of this as well as this body now these two bodies have different densities and that's why density has no value right now so density shows this thing density varies because of course these two things have different densities but apart from that we have every single value here so now the mass is 209.49 and this is the combined mass of these two objects and so is the volume surface area and so on now if you only want to see the property of one of these objects go to the selection box right click and select clear selections okay now it's showing property of none of these objects so just select only one of these bodies and here we are now it's selecting only that body and we have the density mass and so on right now the density is 0, 0.00 that's because we don't have enough decimal places here to show the actual density but there is some sort of value right after the second decimal place it's not actually zero similarly if you want to see the properties of this box then right click and clear selection and just select this one this cuboid and now we have the properties of only this cuboid you can see it's boss dash x22 body it's selected here and that's the property of this second body so that's how you can selectively apply different properties on different bodies if you have a multi-body part now what if you want to see the properties in a different unit right now it is using the unit of the template so we have mass in grams and the volume in cubic millimeters surface area in square millimeters now if you want to use a different unit then you can go to options right here and from here you can select a different unit right now it is using the document setting which is basically the unit of your template just go to this use custom settings and here you can now change the volume mass and length units so for length let's just change it to meter for mass I'll change it to kilogram and for volume let's make it meter cube okay so with these changes you can click OK and now there is just one more thing that I want to highlight here and that's the decimal places now if you want precision up to more decimal places you can just choose that as well for now I'll leave two decimal places here and I'll click OK and immediately we see this so the mass is now 0.14 kilograms surface area is 0 0.02 square meters and so on let's just select this part as well so that we get the combined properties and here we are so mass is 0.21 kilogram volume surface area and so on we certainly need more decimal places here because we are using bigger units but that's just to show you how you can change these properties and you can use different units as well for calculating the properties I'll now go to options and I'll select use document setting to return back to original units okay and here we are we are back to normal for this now if you want to save these properties as a separate file you can print it you can copy it to a clipboard and then you can paste it anywhere you want and that's how you can find physical properties of SolidWorks part